Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's me, Kevin, and I am back on my blind playthrough of Seven Days to Die, and we are about an hour away in game from the fourth Blood Moon. We're on day 28. We're about to hit night 28, and I think I'm ready to go. So I'm, I'm setting up a couple new strats today. First, I turned my thing into concrete. So we have it more reinforced now. I've set up electric posts right here. So when they walk up here to try to hit me while I'm in here, uh, they just get shocked and stunned in place. I put spikes around these in case, I don't know if they'll try to run at those, but I just kind of wanted to protect them a little bit. So we have spikes going around there. And if you're not familiar with my strat, well, I just kind of hang out in here while they try to attack me through these little windows. So the idea is hopefully I can last for the whole time right in here. Um, I've got a tactical, I just made this, I've not tried it yet, a tactical assault rifle on me now. I've got my steel sledgehammer. Um, I've got a claw hammer for repair, pistol just in case. I've got backup, where are they, 10? repair kits i've got like 800 um ak ammo i got some molotovs just in case although these have never gone well in close combat range like this right here and i mean food wise i've got a couple bacon and eggs if i just need a food kicker i've got sham chowder in case i need food and heels um, and then a veggie stew we're actually going to take as we kick this off so I can max myself out. I've got 10 yucca juice. Look at all these heels right here. I got backup concrete cubes. I've got a wire tool in case I need to set things up with back, uh, backup posts. I'm not sure how I'll be able to do that if things go crazy. We're going to use Grandpa's Learning Elixir to, uh, you know, get extra points here. I got coffee for extra energy. I got backup material to repair if I need to. I, I like to think I'm ready. I hope I'm ready. It's like a half hour away. So let's get going. All right, it's time. Uh, where is it? Special stew. Let's take a regular coffee. Okay, they're getting shocked. They just run straight to the spikes. You know, it's all regular so far, dude. I swear the last time they threw like nasty, like undead wolves at me. Where's he going? Dude. Are they attacking the post? She died, I think. Yeah, they just kind of run at the spikes. Maybe the spikes were not a good idea. Oh god. He can't make it through this, right? Over here, dudes. He died? That biker died? That biker died. Alright, we're gonna take... Yeah, let's take one of these. It burns... It burns going down. Oh, okay. What else did I actually only drink? Did I drink two of those? No. Okay, well, it lasts 14 minutes straight. Okay, that was a good... That was good to know. 
What is going on out there, dude? Oh! How? That's not good, dude. Let's do this. Cause they just want to be in here. to do. really high out there. There's no way they break the wall over there. my food and everything food and everything's good the, dude they won't attack the spikes huh or the oh it hits me dude shit okay well I'm, I'm kind of stuck in here Actually, you know what? I want them to break that. When I let them break that middle one. Like that. Oh, where'd you come from? I'll invite y'all in through my cubby hole. They didn't break the wall. They must be boosting over it. The, oh, that car broke. Look at that. Okay, well, this is weird. I got to think about this. They... Can I get in here without... Oh, there we go. Where? 
Did he squeeze through there? I don't think he ran in there, right? This is, this is like kind of anticlimactic, dude. The last Blood Moon, they threw crazy ash. Well, there's dogs, finally. They th I was gonna say, they threw dogs in these like undead wolves at me. Like tons of bikers and... Out of stamina. This actually, I have a really good idea for my next strat. Oh yeah, dude. For the next base, I have an idea. Well, dude, it sucks that they're not coming right up here. It's also like super quiet. Like how he turned to me. Like E2 Brute. Okay, there they go. What's going on, dude? There's like vultures up top. They don't want to try this anymore, dude. Why? I still got learning elixir, I do. It was kind of a waste. I, I did repair, I just hit A. Wait, what do I need to repair that? I'm selecting this. Okay. Peek your head, dude. All right, well, damn, dude. But yeah, I have a really, I think I have a really good idea for the next one. Now, like, they're coming, they're trying to come after me, right? Like if I close that door, now they're like going some they're going a different direction. Dude, it's if I close that door. All right, we got two hours left. We're two thirds of the way through. I had to, I had to look at my recording, make sure I was recording after last time, dude. Of course, I look with two hours left. That's where I like failed last time. There's just one there. Where? Oh, they broke, they broke the wall right there. I think. Okay. Did he die? 
Are they on the roof? Roof's fine. I think I think there's a handful on the roof. What is that noise? Was that a spitter? What just blew up? Something hit me? So, I feel like something just hit me through those. <laughs> up, up. He did not die. Oh, he's a red eye. Okay. Get down, dude. All right, well, one hour left. This is pretty much just a, you know, play it out kind of scenario. I, I feel like this is guaranteed. <laughs> this tactical rifle is really good. I guess that car blew up, dude. Look how they made a big ass like crater. Are they? What is? They really want to attack this right here. They must have broken the by the bass stall. It broke the wall over there. Yeah, I see that. That's I was about to say I thought he died in the game. Sometimes, like, I feel like I'm nervous that they, if they die to the shock stuff, it'll, like, not give me credit for killing them. Oh, come on. What's this at? That's, dude, that is, that is just not going. Alright, nine minutes left, dude. This is easy, dude. I was so nervous after the last one. Dude, I wonder, is it going to be like, maybe it's every other? Because I swear the last one was hardcore, dude. Like, these big, giant, dead wolves. What are the, what are the name of the wolves from um, Game of Thrones? Uh, a dire wolf? They look like dire wolves. I have to repair it before I can pick it up. Oh, dude. I'm kind of trapped in here. Oh, no, actually, what am I saying? I just turned this off. Problem solved. Where y'all at? So what, they broke? Yeah, they did. 
It's like several. Oh, there's a spitter on the other side. Right? They're broken here. Oh! I run into this guy without a, without stamina. Okay. Oh god. I don't get the points for that, unfortunately. So they broke in here. Did they try to go for that? Cause it's up there. Cause I thought they'd just go for me. They didn't break anything. It looks like. Probably should have closed that. Okay. Well, damn, dude, we we did it. That was so easy. Uh, let's take a bacon and egg. Uh, I've got a couple of points to spend now. We want to get. We just got to level eight right here. Wait, no, wait, how am I level eight? Am I wearing something that gives me a level eight boost? I shouldn't be. Um, hold on. Wait, where, where was I? I'm losing my thought. I'm losing my th yeah, blah, blah, blah. All right, this is what we wanted though. We wanted to come here and grab 17% faster. Ooh, swings here. <laughs> Alright, they blew up the car. Uh, here, let's put everything away and like check out the loot. It's not looking too great out here. Alright, so I put everything away. You know, I have these cubes. Oh, well, they're not on me. I mean, I can literally just patch up stuff with it. Like that right there, you know? We'll put one down for sure. All right, ooh, salvage times two, wrench quality four. We're definitely gonna be making that. All right, uh, great heist times six. We got a scavenger, golden rod two. Okay, let's grab everything, then we'll we'll check magazines. Uh, food cookie, yeah, dude. Oh, two away from maxing food. We I maxed out armor on the last one, so we can make level six armor now. Assault rifle. Oh, there you go. Food maxed out. Gumbo stew. What is this? Robotics crafting. Pipe baton quality. Pipe baton. Yeah, that's crap. Uh, okay. Schematic. We have that, so we can sell that. And I think I used one bandage, so we get that bandage. Uh, seed crafting. We can grab corn now. You know, I really need to do that. Vegetable stew is like, I think the, the best all around item, like for food. So we need to set it up. We need to set up farming so I can grow everything specifically, mostly for vegetable stew. And, and then blueberries too. Blueberries go into some other things that are very, very useful. But damn dude, all right, well it held very easily. Yeah, like I said, I think like the last time I did this, they threw way harder shit at me. This time was like really easy. It was super anticlimactic. Like, cause look, I didn't even have like every, almost every time I had to back up here and look, I had these, I had these ready to go. You know, I wonder if I set up turrets on the roof, will that take care of the vultures? We, I'm going to have to look at like gun turrets or dart turrets, I think. All right, let's check out some of these magazines we picked up. So machine gunner, you, oh, I know I have that. Uh, sneaking quickly without getting exhausted takes practice, but it isn't possible. Use no sna stamina while sneak sprinting. First of all, I didn't know you could sneak sprint. Okay, so that's great high six. You always need, oh, I know I found that one. Uh, we'll check just in case. Wastelands four, great high six. Uh, great high six. Ooh, we, ooh, does that max it out now? Hold on. We're going to check that out. Wasteland four. Yeah, I already had that. Okay. So if I take this, do I get automatically the seven thing? I got a little, little jingle. 
Uh, so the great highest, I got everything. Find 20% more lock picks than Luke. Break locks 20% faster and have 10% lower chance to break your lock pick. Hell yeah, dude. All right. Well, um, I guess we need to, we actually just need to get out of here. We kind of passed up what we needed to for now. Um, we need to head back to Bob. Hey, you're just in time. Can yeah, you hand me the pie branch? Oh, we got it. Mind. Open trading I routes. Did. Have a look. We're expanding trade routes to the east. Tell the folks at Trader Hugh that our dukes are shiny and they will have a reward and more you're work for you. Good luck. Yeah, we got to go far right for that, dude. Partner. Buy this. He won't buy that. I'll buy all this other stuff. I brought all this don't, to sell. Don't oh. need any more of those for now. Okay, he won't buy that. Buy that. Okay. We'll just have to scrap everything else. Um, what? Do you now have motorcycle shit? Now that I have a motorcycle... No. What do I even need? I need like motorcycle parts or motorcycle handle. What tools do you have? He doesn't have a, he doesn't have a crucible. Machete, level one. Steel club, level two. He has a level five sledgehammer. I'm tempted to do that because I just I don't know how long I'll be able to make steel. How long it'll be? I'm so tempted. Seventy six. How does that compare? Damn, big difference, dude. Massive difference. 5,000? I did bring pumpkin cheesecake and cigar on me. How much money do I have? Tell your friends about me. Trader Bob. Trader Bob. Damn, dude. That might have been a something to buy. Like, you know, I should have... I don't know. I just That's a lot of money. That's like half my dukes. Let's go see what the new vendor is about, though. He's, he's likely in a new biome. Oh, dude, I forgot to. Oh, I had two points to spend. I bought, yeah, I bought this. I must have had three points to spend on me. Um, can we get this? What, what does this do? Eight, 40% less of the main ingredients. To cook. Also, lucky looter. We want to get this. Loot 10 times 5% loot. Adds 5% to loot bonus. And then looting is 10% faster. Was there anything else? I, I think I could... Oh, no. I needed one more point here. For, like, insulated and everything. What does this need? Oh, that needs seven. But, like, healing factor. All right, fine. We're going to put a, a point in a fortitude. So now I should be able to... Wait. Was this two points? This might have been two points. Or... No, I spent two points. <laughs> yeah. All right, never mind. Damn. All right, but yeah, I have a I have a really good idea for the next, you know, for what I want my base. My base right now is so drab. I want a cool base. So as soon as we find like a super cool POI, we're going to grab it. And I'm like, uh, you know, there's some really cool stuff in the city here at, in the desert. I'm just nervous about being in the desert and always being... Uh, bogged down by the temperature. I don't know if that affects you while you're indoors or not, but um, that, that kind of like is holding me, you know, holding me back from building out here. Um, so like the pine forest though seems like the ideal situation. What is this? Is this in the pine forest? Okay, so like here, here's something in the pine forest. It doesn't, it's not, sh I'm not sure it looks like super cool. But, um, yeah, so something, we want to find installation blue, ooh, four, four skulls right there. We want to find something that's like very cool looking. And then when we do, I have an idea on how to build a badass fortification for it potentially. We'll, we'll see how it works out, but I'm thinking I'm going to try this idea for the next blood moon in eight days. So on day 35. <laughs> Damn, dude, big boy just dropped a fucking nice load on me, dude. Stop, drop, and roll like a pro. I'm pretty sure I have that. So we can sell that at, at Trader Hugh. 
Now question if Trader Hugh will be in another new biome. I'm, I'm willing to bet he's probably he's probably gonna be in snow, isn't he? Like a snow biome. I did see a snow biome like in the first episode. We kind of like spawned in the pine forest right on the edge of a right on the edge of a uh, what is it um, snow biome. So I know there's snow. And I mean, also too, there's like cooling and heating, like insulation, padding for armor. So we know. This is a big ass house, dude. How many skulls is this? That looks like a haunted house. The right residence, four skulls. Yeah, look at this. We're going to the mountain. I see we're about to go back into a short passage of desert into the mountains. Well, mountain, I don't know about mountains, but snow. So I wonder how the snow is going to impact me. A lot of times I feel like cold weather is all about like some, like a hit to your stamina, like regeneration or some shit. The fire pit lodge. See, that might be a cool base. I don't know about wood though. Like, I mean, we would fortify it, but snow gives you like one and a half skulls. Challenger, inner snow. So you get wet. These, these, uh, couple lumberjacks right here. We got to go for them, dude. They're big points. Damn, dude. They, they died really fast. Is there something about the cold and making you just weak to damage? Is there anything that will tell me? Is that the snow? Does that mean like sliding on the snow, that sound? That was weird. Ooh, what's some all right over there? Okay, this guy's not dying like them. He tough. Like you would expect. Let's check this. What is this? This looks like a giant POI. Dude. I'm wondering if we'll run into like a prison. Oh my God, is that another big town right there? What is this? Passing Gas Plaza, it's a Bucky's, dude. Let's, uh, let's ride the road. I think they'll take us through this new town. Oh my god, dude. Look at that farm right there, dude. Farmland? Is that all? I wonder if that ground is like plantable. The big ass wall right here. Broken down Best Buy. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of want to just take down, take in, get a freaking skyscraper like that as my base. I mean, I know I can't really do much on all of it, but one idea I had, and I wonder if this is cool, but like we take the top level once I have a gyrocopter and the only way in and out is with the gyrocopter. <laughs> Johnny town. Dude, everything's like four skulls over here. This is so badass. Dude, he is in a legit. Oh, he's a weapons guy, dude. He is a weapons guy. Ooh, gear me. Forge ahead. We're 59 out of 75. You know what I just remembered too? I can build a chemistry set right here that I'm looking at. I, I missed that on the last episode. I just kind of glossed over it, but I unlocked the chemistry. I, I noticed it as I was uh, editing video. It popped up on my screen. So we got to build the chemistry station and see what it gets us. Please have motorcycle stuff, dude. If you what want crazy firepower, we got it. Ooh. You got the job done. <laughs> Now I can 
pay my tribute to the Duke. Oh, he's got nothing but night stuff. You know, we're gonna take out. We're gonna. We're Shit, gonna, man, making money. To Excellent. Don't forget, ask and see. My gear makes undead hesitate. <laughs> buy that from me. Will you buy this? He will not buy that. No one will buy that. I buy that. got enough of those. Stop it. All right, what do you got for tools, dude? Um, a level five steel shovel. We don't want it. We don't want to spend money on that. Mods, agility mod. This goes on your feet. Nerve interface when embedded in headgear. Why would that go on headgear, dude? I like all of these want to go on headgear. Uh, I guess that's yeah. Uh, motorcycle, please. Um, damn. Okay. Oh, he's got a 44 Magnum so I can get discounts. Now, that's the one. We gotta, we just need to rush though. Here, let's break this stuff down. Open this. Couple forged heads. Couple traps. Couple vehicles. Pipe baton quality six. Couple vehicle mags. Robotic sledge. Now I can make a robotic sledge. I have two of those. Wait, oh, oh, I was about to say, I thought my mission was like three kilometers, dude. All right, we can only do one mission today. Dude, this is gonna be our first four skull mission. Which makes me think, dude, we gotta be ultra careful because where are we? Seven hours into my current life. We wanna try to live for 14 hours and then 21 hours. And now we have to do this by doing tier four while doing tier four missions. Okay, where's the entrance? Oh, 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 no. That's, it's not a dead bear. At least <laughs> that bear didn't look like undead. Damn. Is that it? Okay, we're here. He died? The red eye just hanging outside. Is that a freaking mountain lion? Okay, we're gonna go the other way? We have to be very careful. I'm like super nervous here. Will the mountain lion fight like zombies? Ooh, he missed me. All right. We we might actually have to fight the... Well, here's the rally point thing. Okay. We just go in. We, we don't have time to... Oh, no way she hit me. <laughs> Damn, this is a nice house. Dude, the POIs. I love the look of the POIs in these. What you got from here? Salt rafters. Sledges. And then what was that one? Traps, I think traps. Hello, I see you over there. See a red eye? This one looks like a, maybe a red eye. Oh yeah. Oh God. Okay. Ooh, you never find enough ammunition. I'm pretty sure we don't have that one. Lucky loot too. 
Yeah. Okay, cool. What is this? Oh, snowball. So we can make, we can use that to make smoothies. Here, actually, hold on one second. All right, all right, we're back, my bad. Quick break, I don't think anybody will notice though because I can edit out. All right, so you know one thing I have to wonder, is this truly, like I'm looking at the top right of my screen, right, where it says Mortician's House. Is this a four skull plus like one and a half, like, what what does the one and a half represent? Like a um, environmental challenge, you know, thing that it adds to it? Cause I know, I guess being in the cold is supposed to do something to me. I'm not quite sure, dude, I'm starving. I know I should have I should have brought two of those. Wait, what is this? Oh, golden rod tea. Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> In a closet. Who's out there? Lumberjack. There's a light, so it's telling me this way, right? No. I guess that was if I didn't break in the way I did. All right, this this house is like a maze. Okay, maybe up. Here we go. This is likely where we gotta go. Where's the music? Red eye. Dead like a bitch. All right, I gotta start grabbing these things, I think. Cause like now I need things like sand. Did it, he, this give me glue? But these things can give me like sand. Honestly, I think is it's probably better to grab pallets than it is to grab like um, trees and rocks and shit. Okay. What? Okay, he died. She's gonna break this probably quickly, but I, I'm gonna wait so I get all my stamina back. Well. Damn. Okay, keep going, stamina. I have a, I have a thing on my... Okay, I have a... A mod on my sledgehammer that st stops him from regenerating. So I can take my time with him. Dude, 66 out of 75. I I am not going to upgrade my sledgehammer until I get like level 6. Because we'll be getting that here in the next couple of days in game, you know? Machine gun. That sounds big. Oh. <laughs> the music. Dude, I love it when I see a big ass bookshelf and I just get a piece of paper. Yeah, this this house is like a freaking maze, bro. I'm just waiting. There's going to be something I walk into that's going to be insane. I have not really walked into it yet. 
And it's not even here. I thought, I mean, I'm just thinking I'm going to walk into something crazy at any second. What time is it? We, we got plenty of time, actually. I think. Just depends on how far this keeps going. Oh, wait, am I? I'm maxed out on food. I cannot spend that. Uh, this is farming. Ooh, potato was a big one to unlock, dude. Okay, we're just back in here. Did I miss the score room? So hold on, this was a way to go. I know this is like a residence, but man, this, this loot has been really lackluster. All right, if we go back out, we got a lot of things trying to break in though. Oh, you know, I never went downstairs. It's a red eye. Get out of here, dude. This kid, I mean, where's, where are the hard zombies? I know they're here somewhere, right? Did she die? I don't think she died. Okay, she died. Wait, I think she died. I'm pretty sure she died. Oh, here, is this the loot room? No, this can't be it. This can't. Cannot be it. We sell food. We're going to sell all these food magazines now. I hear breathing. Oh. That's a red eye. Here's the score room. He didn't die, right? What am I hearing? Well, no, this is not the score room. Damn, dude, this place is like a freaking maze. I actually need to get out to my bike. I'm out of space. We don't want to go that way yet. I saw a way out. Where was the way out? Through the garage thing? All right, where's my bike? This way. There's a zombie like right here. You shut up. <laughs> up. Oh, hold on, there's a red eye running at me, I think. Or is he regular? No, he's red eye. There's a bear there. What? Okay, I was like, where are you, dude? Okay. Now we can put stuff away at peace. All right, uh, let's eat this. And we can take this. 73 and then two traps. Okay, let's get back in there. Can I hit this from here? I love, dude, they give you good reach. I love that. I actually love that. Level five claw hammer, we have that. I 
think this bear is breaking in. He, he definitely sounds near and honestly, dude, I do not want to run into him in close court. Maybe he's fighting zombies. I'm nervous about getting trapped in here with a bear. Like, what is he trying to do? Okay. Definitely not as hard as the I, last time I ran into a bear. Okay, bears are not bad. I ran into a bear, I think, like on the fourth episode, and I just died like a numerous times because they were one hitting me. Blade crafting. Uh, we got bone knife five. What about these things? Okay, not bad either. Except that they hit me real easy. Okay. Where was I? I think I've looted all this stuff now. So we have to head down. Down here. Over there? Hold on. Oh shit, dude. I got dude. I'm about to I'm about to fail this mission. It takes so long. Stop it. No, 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 no. I, I have no stamina. Dude, look at this. Run. <laughs> yeah, no way we finished this mission. I mean, unfortunately. We had to clear all this. Yeah, no way. We failed. And honestly, we're probably going to get out of here because it's about to be nighttime. Fuck. We're, we're done here. <laughs> we're done here, dude. I can't, I can't even do it. I can't do it, unfortunately. We have to be here with more time in the day. guy right here is a tank okay well it's nighttime now so I think I think this one's a red eye just by how fast he's moving he died we're just gonna get in here loot a couple of book piles not make too much noise wiring we'll take wiring let's I have to learn a bunch of these books. Let's see. Bow hunters, explosives, forge ahead, fists, a couple sledges, seven away from maxing that out, pistols, tech, sharp sticks, sledgehammer quality five. Who's here? Up. Oh, they're moving fast. 
Oh, I love it when that happens, dude. That's not good. I don't think he's a red eye, though. He's not a red eye. He's just, it's night, so he's a sprinter. Okay, forge ahead. Bow crafting. Sledges times two again. Explosives, tech, spears, tactical, dynamite. Train your ear for that distinct clicking sound of a landmine. I actually think I found this. Wait, landmines won't. Hold on. Urban Combat 5. Maybe I have not found that. Urban Combat 5. Okay, I have found that. So we sell that. Damn, dude. I always find the ones I already have. Like, a lot. It's all paper there. Nothing in the cash register. Okay, that's it. I just want to... I just want to loot the books. Oh, no. That's what they sent at me in the last... So they're a snow biome monster. I, You know what? I don't even want to know. They could probably outrun this freaking mini bike, dude. But that is what I ran into during the last uh, Blood Moon, the third one. They sent like six of those at me. They're like freaking dire wolves. Dude, I really want to... Well, how many, how many skulls is this, dude? Vanity Tower. Ooh, ooh. Dude, please. Five. It's five, five skulls, which is a lot, of course. Now, I wonder, dude, I wonder if there's more, like, skulls, like five skulls. If that was three skulls, would it have less loot? If it has, if it has five skulls, does that mean it's going to have better loot? I, I wonder. Everything here is, like, so destroyed. Oh, what is that? There's another big tower thingy over there. O'Reilly Auto. Dude, you know, like, honestly, the position of my, my base. See, it's 2.4 it's kilometers away from Hugh. It's also 2 kilometers away from... Uh, Bob. So, like, it honestly is kind of in a good position. In fact, thinking about where... So, Hugh's over here. Bob's over here. This, honestly, this four skulls thing that I found may be the ideal spot for a base. I don't, I don't know if it was cool enough. I think it was though, actually. It was like a, a sweet looking lodge. Or was it in the, it might've been in, it might've been in the desert where I don't want to be in the desert. I just wonder, you know, I guess this is a question. Does the temperature of the location does it affect you inside the range of the land claim block does the land claim block shelter you from the elements because if so then i mean i would grab something in the desert for sure i could even grab something like this although this i don't know if this looks super cool it looks like it could be interesting to like, you know, loot and just kind of explore a bit. But I don't know if I like, I, like I want something that just looks sweet to come home to, <laughs> you know? I'm, a, I'm my vanity, dude. My vanity is at, at play here, dude. I want something that is like super nice. I mean, another thing I'm wondering too, like, I mean, how important is it, like, how close I am to some of these vendors? Because, you know, the this this mini bike was a boost over the bicycle, which the bicycle was a big ass boost over the, you know, running. So what it makes me wonder how fast will the motorcycle make allow me to go? And then how fast will the four by four allow me to go? So I don't know if I need to be right next to like Bob and Hugh. I'm almost thinking like something in this area right here, right next to Trader Wreck. Like honestly, a fire station looks super cool. The one in the the one in the big desert city looked really cool. All right. Well, unfortunately, we didn't get to we didn't get to do a level four mission. Um, we found a vehicle mag, a seed mag, electrical uh, no traps. Assault rifle, ooh, tactical assault rifle three. That's gonna be great. So we sell the food mags. Uh, this batter up. Learn this trick to keep from tiring out. I'm pretty sure sprinting with a club draw. I'm pretty sure I found that one. 
Batter up. Volume 2? Yeah. Okay, so we sell that too. Uh, this can match. Ooh! Hell yeah, dude. We can make these now. I've been buying these. So I know I didn't have that. I'm pretty sure we found this one. and I know we found that. Simi, the Simi mod. Yeah, see, we found that one. Okay. Uh, we, we found some actually really good like food items out there. So let me put shit away. So I know I can buy the tarps. Can I make a tarp? I cannot. Okay. Um, what does it take to make the chemistry station? It's going to take uh, no steel. Oh, dude, I definitely do not have the acid. Three acid. You know what I thought? Hold on. I want to test a theory here. If I break down a... Can I break this down? Oh, dude, I was hoping it was going to give me acid. Okay, well... Um, maybe we'll cancel that. I don't know if batteries could be useful. So we have a motorcycle, motorcycle parts. What do I need? Handlebars, which we would need a lot more vehicles for. Damn, dude, I really want this. That's, we're just missing the handlebars. All right, we found level five. What does this get me? Level five nerd, uh, increases experience gain tools. And, okay. So one thing I kind of noticed, I don't know if I really need a full set. There are certain full sets that really do give you some cool stuff, but most, I feel like the individual components, where am I going? The individual components are better than the set bonuses. So like, for instance, what does this do? Reduces food and water use, which is actually really good. Reduces stamina recovery cost. It's actually the full set bonus is the reason I went with Nomad. This reduces stamina recovery cost. It's actually kind of huge. But if we look at armor, like I know it's this scavenger gloves, right? Increases resources while salvaging. What does this one give you? Encumbrance? See, I don't really care about that. What about raider boots? Fall damage? I don't really care about that. Decreases treated healing time of erasers. That's pretty cool, but meh. Uh, scavengers reduces stamina usage when salvaging. I mean, that's good. I don't need to double up on salvaging though. Um, we, yeah, definitely don't need to worry about farmer and mining and shit before, you know, if I'm not farming and mining increases run speed. Look at the commando boots. See, I should be using commando boots over the nomad boots that I'm wearing. The commando boots say, oh, well, increases run speed. So it's the same thing. Uh, deal more melee damage against radiated enemies. Okay. That is actually good. Reduces encumbrance. See this, I don't care about. I don't know. We'll, we'll have to think about it. All right. One thing we have to check is remember my logic about, I think it was on the last episode where I kind of guessed that if we, it, the amount of steel we need is based on the level. Yeah. See, so it's 50 for five. So level six is most likely going to need 60 steel and I have 34 and we can't make any, we need the crucible. And what does the crucible take to make? Oh, dude, we got to max out workstations. I mean, we're getting there. You know, what else have I unlocked to make, dude? I've unlocked like... This does not take steel. What, um... What's on these? Okay, I have one on there. I have one on there. I have one on there. And then I don't have it there. I have a cigar on me. So we need to make one more. Okay, we're making that. Um, what other mods? I mean, we can make insulated. You know what I'm going to do though? I'm making coffee because I'm pretty sure it doesn't coffee help you with cold resistance. So we're going to, we're going to start drinking lots of coffee in the snow biome. And that's really it. I can make from a mod perspective. I can upgrade my wrench now. So forged iron level four, you know, we're probably all going to be okay for now.
What about like weapons? So we can make the AK level, the tactical assault rifle level two now. But it takes, yeah, it takes a ton of steel, dude. So we're not gonna be able to keep making that until I get the crucible. All right, I'll tell you what, let's let's actually call it right there. I feel like this episode, okay. So tier four is interesting for schools. So we, on the next episode, of course, we need to head back to Hugh and try to do another tier four. We need to give ourselves the entire day though. Like it honestly didn't work out well that I got there super late, but if we can get there early in the day, then maybe we have the entire day to pull off a double loot of a tier four POI. So that'll be the objective for the next episode. Also, we've got to be so close to getting motorcycle. We've got to find the motorcycle handles or, or, or somehow like figure out how to make it. But yeah, those will be the objectives for the next episode. See you there.